Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a glute leg workout. This workout uses dumbbells and barbells, so you will need to do it in a gym that has that equipment. I know you guys love these sort of workouts, so I'm just keep making them because you guys prefer glute leg workouts to upper body. If you've got any questions about the workout, just pop them in the comments below or just DM me on Instagram. It's at underscore Chloe Inspires underscore. I do also do personal training online and nutrition coaching. So if you're interested in that, you can visit my website, chloeinspires.com or drop me an email, chloeinspires.coaching at gmail.com. I do programs as well. So if any of you guys want a program that obviously like includes a workout like this, or you guys want any particular goals, I do that all online. So yeah, if you've got any questions or you're interested, then drop me an email. Just to let you know in this workout, I do three to four sets of 10 to normally about 12 or 15 reps, depending what the exercise is. And that is because my goal at the moment is to keep getting stronger, but also grow my muscle. So obviously I want to grow my glutes. That's the about the rep range and set range that you want to do. Also just make sure that you are lifting really heavy weights. So you want to be lifting to failure. You don't want to do 10 reps and feel like you could do another 10, basically. You want to do that last rep and feel like you can't do any more. That's all you need to know. And if you guys are not subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below the video. And if you do like the video, then don't forget to give it a like. And obviously, like I said, if you've got any feedback or anything, then just drop it in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoy the workout. So to start with, I did a warm up, which was about a five to 10 minute incline walk on a treadmill, nothing too intense, just to warm the legs up, get the blood flowing. And then I did some glute activation. So I normally use um, my pink resistance band and it's a very tight, thick fabric band. And I do hip thrusts with that. So about 15 hip thrusts off the side of a bench, obviously no weight. Then I do about 10 body weight squats. And then I normally do 10 lateral lunges on each leg. I will put some footage in actually for you from another workout of this in case some of you are new and don't understand what any of it that means. Obviously I didn't film it in today's workout, but I'll show you some clips just so you understand. And then the next exercise I did was the hip abduction machine, but I did this with my bum slightly raised off the seat and leaning forward. This just targets a different glute muscle um, the normal, like a different part of your glute because you have three muscles in your glute than normal. But if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you can just do a normal hip reductor and just sit down in the seat. But sometimes it is good to switch things up. So have a go at doing this. You want to be leaning slightly forward, back straight, and your bum slightly off the seat. And I think I did about 10 reps for that. But again, it was three sets. So once I had done that, I then went straight into barbell hip thrust and I did 10 reps and four sets of those. Can't remember what weight I did. I think it was about 95 kilos, um, but whatever I did, I did it to failure. And then I also added a 10 second hold on the last rep just to really burn the glutes. You don't have to do that, but I really like doing that because it just, you can really feel the glutes. And just remember to keep your core tight through all of that exercise and keep your chin slightly down, like you've got like an orange between your chin and your neck. And remember not to over arch your back too much when doing hip thrust as well. And then the next exercise I did was leg press. So this is the lateral leg press, not the horizontal one. So I loaded this one with plates and I just had my legs about shoulder width apart. So it kind of reciprocates a squat movement. And again, I just really made sure I was pushing through my heels and engaging my glutes. But you can obviously also feel this exercise in your quads as well. And for this one, I did three sets of 10 reps. exercise I did was RDL, so Romanian deadlifts with dumbbells, and I did about 12 reps of these and three sets. Remember to keep your back nice and straight, you don't want to be arching your back, and you want to have a slight bend in your knee as you go down. And the next exercise I did was the hip abduction machine, but I did this with my bum slightly raised off the seat and leaning forward. This just targets a different glute muscle um, than normal, like a different part of your glute, because you have three muscles in your glute 
than normal. But if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you can just do a normal hip reductor and just sit down in the seat. But sometimes it is good to switch things up. So have a go at doing this. You want to be leaning slightly forward, back straight, and your bum slightly off the seat. And I think I did about 10 reps for that, but again, it was three sets. And then the last exercise was walking lunges. I love doing these at the end of a leg workout because they really burn out your legs and glutes. And I did three sets of those and I did eight reps on each leg, so it was 16 reps in total. And I did this with a barbell just because I feel it more comfortable. Um, I don't know why, but if you want to hold dumbbells by your side or want to use plates, or if, obviously if you're a beginner, then you can just do body weight or use very light dumbbells. But I find a barbell just a bit more comfortable. <music> So that was the end of the workout guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did don't forget to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, I really appreciate your support and if you guys are interested in online personal training or online nutrition coaching drop me an email, it's chloeinspires.coaching at gmail.com or just drop a comment below or email, um, DM me on Instagram, it's at underscore chloeinspires underscore also, if you guys have any video requests, that um, now I'm obviously cabin crew, so if you guys are interested in anything to do with travelling and fitness or health, then please let me know. Um, I do want to do a what I eat in a day, because I haven't done one of those in ages, and I have been dieting recently, so I was thinking of sort of showing you guys what I'm doing, so if you are interested in that, then obviously let me know. So I hope you guys all have a good week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!